welcome back to The Quick Journey, a place where I share my simple living tips and tricks with all of you. Today, I am going to be sharing about a topic that I get asked about a lot over on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, if you love it over there, make sure that you find my account at The Quick Journey where we can hang out every single day and interact over there. One thing that you guys keep asking me is, Liz, how do you meal plan? What do you do? What are your resources? You want to know all the things because for some of you, meal planning is just kind of cumbersome and hard and you'd like to know if there are easier ways to plan meals for your family. I'm a little bit old school, but I'm gonna show you what I do and I keep it really simple and I try to be kind of no fuss with it. So the first thing I do is I made this printable and I love it. It keeps things simple. I have my days lined out for the week. This is the weekend over here. And each day I jotted down things that are happening that day. For example, on Monday I know I have dance. On Tuesday we have soccer. On Wednesday there's piano at three. On Thursday there's dance. And on Friday there's soccer. So that helps me to know which meals are gonna to need to be really fast and easy and which days I can spend a little bit more time making the meal fancy and a little more elaborate um, and just make it feel a little more special. This is my meal planning sheet and I am going to link my newsletter below and anybody who signs up for my newsletter will get this sent to their inbox as well so that you can have an easy way to meal plan for your family. So the first thing I do is I grab my meal planning sheet with a pen or a pencil and I always choose a cookbook for like the week. Um, I just pick one. I have several that I really love, but today or this week I'm going to do Magnolia Table. This is obviously Joanna Gaines's, and this is volume two. I will link it below for you as well. This just helps me to have a, a kind of a baseline for if I'm needing help finding meals, I know where I can go. And I also have my computer, and I will look up on Pinterest any recipes that I'm maybe stumped on. Or if I know I have an ingredient in my refrigerator, say pork chops, and I'm needing a recipe to go along with the pork chops, but I don't have one off the top of my head, I will just look on Pinterest and search for pork chop recipes and see what comes up um, and either print the recipe off or write it on the back of the sheet. So another thing, I shop online for groceries and I started doing this about five years ago and I cannot tell you how much it has revolutionized my whole meal planning situation. It is so nice to not have to spend that time in the grocery store and to just have the groceries delivered to my house. Write down the ingredients that you will need on the back of the paper. That way you don't waste another piece of paper writing out your grocery list. I know that I want to do hamburgers at least one day because my family loves it. So I will look and see what day I have some a lot of stuff happening and then that is when I will write down hamburgers for that day because that's pretty easy and quick and I can make them ahead of time and if people need to eat them later in the evening they can totally do that. I'm going to do that Tuesday for supper. We are going to have hamburgers and I usually like to write down the sides I'm going to have for the meals as well. So maybe we're just going to have chips with the hamburgers and a salad. I almost always do a green salad with every single meal so I'll go ahead and write that down. And then we are going to have um, chips with hamburgers. My kids love it and chips are usually quite a treat in this house so we'll do chips that day. Now Monday I have dance at 4.30 which means I'm going to need to have supper ready and on the stove before I leave. So I usually do something like a soup on that day. So we are going to go ahead and have cheeseburger soup on Monday and I will link that recipe below, the one that we use. It is so delicious. I usually double it for my family of six. Not because it's not enough for us for that one meal, but because my kids love leftovers and then we will always have that the next day for lunch. It's really nice to have that. Then I don't have to worry about lunch the next day. I always make an overnight bread and we have cheeseburger soup. Uh, it is a really simple recipe if you are new to bread making. I plan on making it on this channel for you and showing you just how easy it is, but if uh, you are needing the recipe right now, I will link that below for you as well. It's on my blog and it is foolproof and turns out amazing every single time. I've never had it turn out bad, not once. 
So Wednesday, we have piano at 3. Other than that, our day is pretty wide open except for school in the morning. So this is a day when I can flip through the cookbook and find a recipe that I find inspiring. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to open up the Magnolia cookbook. And I'm going to see what Miss Joanna Gaines has. Okay, so I have found Joanna Gaines's grilled bruschetta chicken. It looks delicious. It has tomatoes, feta cheese, fresh basil, some Greek seasoning. I think this is a really great recipe, and I'm going to go ahead and put it down for Wednesday night. And as always, I'm going to toss a green salad. Now you can do different things with your salad. Sometimes I hard boil eggs and I put those in there. Sometimes I chop up dill pickles and put dill pickles in there. We usually throw some croutons in. I might do some bacon on the cast iron and pop that in the salad. It's just whatever you want to do. Um, I've also bought pre-cooked, uh, chopped, cubed, whatever, cubed ham and I've put that in there as well. There are so many options to just shake it up and make it so it's not the same salad every single night, but also it keeps that one side dish pretty much a staple, and then it's not as much planning for you whenever you're going to do some meal planning. Along with this grilled bruschetta chicken, I think some roasted garlic potatoes sound really good. So I will just grab a bag of baby potatoes from the grocery store. I will dice them up pretty small and I will toss them with some oil and then some salt and pepper and some fresh garlic and maybe even dice an onion because the potatoes and onions just taste so good together. I will throw it on a parchment lined cookie sheet and I will toss it in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes. They will be crispy, they will be crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside and they will be perfect and taste amazing with this bruschetta chicken. So now on Thursday, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Philly cheesesteak because I know my family loves that and I can make all of the toppings ahead of time. We have dance that night at 5.30 which means I can quickly make it whenever I get home and we can eat together as a family. So I'm going to write that down for Thursday. Now, since the Philly cheesesteak has a bun and it has some bell peppers and some steak and some cheese, I'm going to try to go heavy on the vegetables with this meal since the hoagie bun is pretty heavy. So we are going to do a fresh coleslaw. Um, I go to allrecipes.com to find my coleslaw recipe. Just look for one that has great reviews and I very rarely am disappointed. Friday is our cleaning day, so I always try to keep Friday's meal pretty minimal since our morning is full of school and cleaning, and I'm usually pretty tired by the time supper rolls around. We often do pizza on Fridays also because it's a fun treat to look forward to, and I can throw the dough together right after lunch. It can rise all afternoon, and I can quickly pop it in the oven when it's time for supper. I am going to link that recipe below for my homemade pizza crust. I've used it for years. It is so good. I have tried so many pizza crusts and they have failed and just not tasted very good, but this one works out if you follow the directions every single time. And I'm hoping in the future to do a video on my homemade pizza as well to show you a few tips and tricks that I use to make sure that my pizza comes out tasting amazing. So that is how I do my meal planning. A little hint for those of you who find it really daunting to do this. I always save these sheets and I reuse them. So if there's a week that I am just so busy and I know I don't have time or energy to sit down and do my meal plan, I will pull an old one out and I will just recycle it for the week and order all the groceries I need and do the exact same thing. Also, another thing I've done when my kids were really little and I found it very difficult to find time to meal plan and to think of things to eat, we would have themes for each day. So maybe we would do casserole Monday, taco Tuesday, um, you know, budget friendly Wednesday, and then we would do soup Thursday, and then I would do pizza Friday or whatever. I would have themes, and that would make it easier to plan things. Sometimes it really is hard to think, oh, what is my family going to want to eat, and I don't know what to fix, and that kind of helps to get your brain 
going. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know how you liked this video, what you found helpful, if you learned anything, and what it is you would like for me to do a video about next.